Hey there guys, my name's Vizetti, welcome back to my channel. If you uh, watched my last video, I was announcing that the new series on 1.14 is about to happen, but sadly the server version isn't quite stable enough yet for us to use. So there's gonna be a bit of a delay whilst that happens. So what I'm doing is what everyone else is doing, and that is doing a little bit of a series on a skyblock. Now, this particular version is by Dr. Trog. Dr. Trog, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But as you can see, it's a little bit different than some sky blocks that we have, I zoom in backwards, I can. We have other islands. So that has got a, uh, what do you call it? A swamp and you know, some, some forests and I'm going the wrong way, but anyway. So we've got all these other islands that we can go out and explore and get some resources. There's not much else on there except for maybe a different type of tree or a mushroom or I think the swamp one has a couple of extra bits of water which will come in handy. And one of the other things that happen in this one is different mobs drop different things. So I'm just looking through the wiki there. So wither skeletons have a chance of dropping soul sand, so that's good. Husks have a chance of dropping sand. Blazers have a chance of dropping nether quartz and zombies, gravel, and a few other bits and pieces. So, and also they've got a little announcement here in the latest one that with the boss's loot table also includes a lava bucket so we can get extra lava if we need. That's all well and good. So it makes it a little bit interesting that instead of just really working with gravel and the little bit of dirt, not gravel, some cobblestone, that you can go out and do all sorts of things. You've got zombies, they'll drop iron. You can, I think there's ways of getting diamonds. You can do all sorts of things. So if this takes off and is entertaining, it might be a bit of a longer series. We might have two running, but initially this will get us uh, out of a slow start with, or a delayed start with 1.14. Now, what am I gonna do here? Let me turn around. So. We're on this dirt and we're three high. We've got some grass, we've got a tree. So I'm going to break the grass and straight off the bat, we've got a seed. So the seed is good. I wouldn't mind a couple of more seeds, but oh yeah, there's two. So, and I got that one. Lots of seeds. We might as well get these flowers just in case. Don't really need them. Gonna chuck them in here because you fall over the edge, you lose your inventory. So we might as well have a look what's in here. We've got 10 obsidian, we can go over to the nether. We've got a couple of turtle eggs for some turtle fun. Some sea pickles, sugar cane, melon, pumpkin, and a lava bucket and ice. So these will be used initially. Um, I might go over the edge, just do a little column down. So I'll do that for the for making the column down to get lower, way lower down, but also obviously for creating the cobble generator. So, if you haven't seen the way the cobble generator works, let's quickly do one here without losing any dirt. So we'll grab them. So the water goes over here and flows straight down. The lava goes here. And as I do this, I realize I don't have a pick, but anyway, there's our cobble. So I guess that can stay there. One of the rules, do not carry the bucket. You've only got one bucket. You fall off the edge, you lose your bucket, you're in trouble. So the next thing we need to do is punch down this tree and hope that we get some saplings. At least one, if we don't get any, we're sort of stuffed, like that bit of wood. So we want to get three, oh, well three, we just want to get one. Let's start with one, and any more than one is a bonus. But this should be the last, and now we can start. And I'm gonna just tiptoe over to the edge here, just in case any fall out that I might be able to catch out this way. So far, no good. And I really want to. And we got one. I didn't see it pop in, but anyway, I'll take it. Uh, 
that yes we caught him so there we got with two i think we're over oh we got three all right so that's a good start we've got enough saplings to um yeah we've got plenty don't know what i was worried about let's just get this last one here okay so that's probably about all i'm going to do on camera for the start i don't think there's anything i've forgotten to mention so we've had a look in the chest i'm going to Cut out this. I'm going to go over the edge, get a bit lower down. So first thing we're going to do, we've got a couple of seeds. We're going to make some food out of that. But at some point, we also want to get some, some passive mobs. So they will not spawn in the spawn chunk. F3G gives us the spawn chunk. So I need to tunnel outside of the spawn chunk and 23 blocks further away and set up a grassy patch. So when I'm moving that out, I have to move this grass out there as well so that they will spawn because the passive mobs will spawn on grass, not on dirt, not on, on cobble, but on grass. So I'll be heading out in one of those directions with the dirt. And what else? They spawn quite slowly. They get one try every 30 seconds and it seems they're not very successful. So can easily go yeah 20 30 I don't know, easily 20 30 minutes without getting anything so i'm going to do that but my primary source of food is going to be some bread i will get this all underway so what i'm going to do pack this up pillar over the edge to have a, a cobble pillar all the way down to zero and then take out these top two levels and start heading over in that direction whilst i'm waiting for the grass to grow i will be um, cutting up or sort of mining some cobble and building a bit of a, a stable platform i won't do that because it's not too exciting unless i fall off the edge and if i fall off the edge i'll come back and i'll be grumpy and i don't want to fall in there either all right Give me one second, I'll be back. Well, it's been a another day, actually. Today is the next day. And as you can see, we've had some progress. So I've got my cobble generator here. I've actually moved down. So before we were up a little bit, but I've moved down. Cobble generator's been working well. I've got quite a few trees here. And more importantly is my little spawning area here is spawning some passive mobs. So I've had lots of everything, but they are so slow. Like I've been waiting for these ones to spawn so I could start the recording again with some animals here. Literally took an hour. So not a lot. I think if we get more dirt, then we... Yeah, the, the spawn numbers will increase and we can get more dirt apart from going to these other islands i think you can get is it gravel and dirt and when you mix them together it gives you coarse what do you call it is it coarse dirt or something and then you tilt it and then dig it up but it gives you twice as much so you can get more dirt so that is something to look forward to but Whilst I was waiting for those silly pigs to to spawn, just looking at what I've got in my inventory. Yeah, so look, I've been killing all sorts of things. We've had sheep and everything. I need one more, one more piece of wool for a bed. I'm just seeing if I can get up there. Yeah, I'm gonna run back and I think, because I can run now, I think I've got some ladders. So I've basically uh, pillared all the way across to the island behind me. And, but we're, because we're lower than what we started with, so I'll need that. I've only got wood, but that will do. Let me just convert some into, I probably don't need that much. I've got 32 there. Anyway, let's run over there. Uh, I want to pillar up to the island because this one is the, the, um, the swamp, which means we can get water which means I need the bucket. So if I grab the bucket, then we can bring water back. And so we'll have an infinite water source, which will be good. So 
let's run over there. There's some vines coming down. I've already, obviously, I've had a bit of a look. I've been over there. There's, the vines coming down have got string down the bottom. So I, just in case, I don't want to get rid of all the vines. I might need them at some point. But I don't have shears. I got cooked food, yes. So, um, what I'm planning on doing next is when we get our infinite water source, that's going to help me with a mob farm. So I want to have a mob farm happening. And with the mob farm, you know, there's that really, really small chance. You can see there's string stopping these going all the way down to the ground. With the mob farm, there's a, a really, really small chance of the zombies dropping iron. So that is something that I'm keen to have. Let's chuck these on here and we can go up and have a look on this island and I believe, yep, we have water. And that's basically an infinite water source just there. But I don't want to lose this bucket. And we've got some dirt if we need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself an infinite water source over there. And I'm going to do some cobble mining because I want to make a mob farm i'm going to make it around about 30 blocks past the i don't know where i'm going to make it i'll have a bit of think about where i'm going to make it i might go out to the side a little bit and make it out um just distance where they'll spawn and i'll come back when i've got all the bits ready and probably the foundations to show you what it's going to look like so i'll be back shortly so the sun is setting, but look, we have more animals here. I think we've just about hit our mob cap, which is 10. A few eggs, one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm gonna have trouble counting to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I think when it spawns its pack, if there's nine and it, yeah, it'll go over, but yeah. so. Animals are happening, but yeah, you know, they're providing way more food than they really need. So this is all good. And that is what I'm planning for my mob farm. It's just going to be something simple initially. So I've got a small area in here where they can spawn or do three by four times two. And I'm hoping they will walk over here and get caught in a water stream. Okay, yes, my ladder's stopping that. So let's take these away, which will make it dark in here. And so that's going to come out here. So what I'm thinking is put that there and 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 that and i will need a sword so let's run over here make a sword and hopefully that will allow some mobs to spawn by the time we get back Okay, let's see if we can hear anything. Nothing. Nothing. That's. I was hoping they would spawn. Maybe. But that was something on the roof then. Like a big turtle. If there's nothing there this time, I might just go and do some troubleshooting. Nope. Okay. Let me go and see if I can work out what I've done wrong. Okay, so I've got a bat to spawn in there. So I'm half thinking that it might be something to do with the mob cap because I've still got those animals over here. So let's get rid of them and see if that helps with the mob spawning. I sort of thought they might have been a different cap, but anyway, 
You never know. Fun to kill a horse. All right, buddy. Oh, now I got enough wool to make a bed. Just pick up this in case I need it. And I'm full. Okay, let's go see if my mob farm now works a little better, so it's not just a bat farm. What can we hear? Uh, that's a good sign, but I think he can see me. <laughs> okay, so... I think I have to sneak up here. Can you still see me? You can see me. And maybe this will work. And I'd be able to pick that up if I didn't have full pockets. What don't I need here? Yeah, I can do without that. All right, that looks like, and the bats don't really matter because they have their own mob cap. So maybe it was, I can hear a spider in there, damn it. I haven't thought about spiders. I'll need a two wide to be able to get to the spiders. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. I might go away and just move all this in here over one so that I've got a two wide water thing so I can get to the spiders. I'll be back. So I've uh, made it that extra block wider. So if we sneak in here, we can just see we've got the same platforms. I had to put another row of the trapdoors in. Let me get rid of that, but I want my torch back. And I'm hoping that this will enable me to kill them without getting hurt. So let's go over here. I think I've got some more mobs. Suddenly, I know I killed them all off. Okay, so there's nothing there. Hopefully when we come back over here, we should hear some nasties. Lots of bats. Okay, let's go stand over here for a bit. So I'm going to have to check out the wiki to see if the, and let me put that in there, uh, to see if the mobs are influenced, you know, cap is influenced by the passive mob cap. Do we have anything? Sounds like more bats. But, you know, bats are spawning. I think that's a good thing. There's a lot of bats in there. Give it another try. It's annoying me that I don't have a, um, some saplings sitting over there. So let me just plant one of them. Third time lucky. Okay, so that's how you build a bat farm. The bats drop something in this version. It'll be all right. Okay, I'm gonna go and... Seriously, how many bats? Let me just play with that and just see if I'm unlucky and I'll pop back when I've got some nasties in there. and I've sorted out the problem. Two hours later. Okay, so obviously it's obviously it's working. 
Uh, let me fix my damage here. I was thinking that maybe they weren't spawning because light was getting through. So I was thinking of doing something like this. So I'll just keep playing. I don't think light can get through, so I, but I think they might be able to see me. All right, let's just play. 346 minutes later. Okay, that's sounding a lot better. I can do that, but I can't. I need them to walk over the trap doors, obviously, otherwise I can't hit them. Okay, and actually I noticed I got some gravel, so something I killed before gave me some gravel. It might be these guys. Some more gravel. So the gravel trick, I might be able to get a creeper. Oh, oh, look. I can't get it. There's an iron ingot there. I have to get it. Why can't I get it? Okay, all right, I'm gonna have to work out on the collection thing, but that's a good get. And I've got some gravel. Let's see if we can make some more dirt. Let me just pinch it out from under this tree. And this one. I probably could have just done it in my. So, coarse dirt. So I think it takes two dirt plus two gravel gives us four coarse dirt. And then I think if we put it down and somewhere I have a hoe. And it just becomes normal dirt. There we go, we made some dirt. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got a bit of a farm here. I just need to work out how I can get the drops a bit better. What's that? So what I think, I think that might do it for today's episode. I'm just sort of half thinking maybe I should take these bottom bits out, but that will do for today's episode. I think, um, you know, given this is the first episode, I think we've, we've done pretty good. We've got passive mobs. We've got angry mobs, lots of trees, lots of cobble. Everything's looking good. So I will be back next week with another episode and I will see you then. Bye.